picture the situation, if you will. You have a robot, like the one in the scene you see here, and suddenly you realize you need to alter a value on the weapon it's holding. Now you can select that weapon object in the robot's weapon field, which in turn will expand the hierarchy, and then you can select the weapon component. But who needs two clicks when one will do the job? Well, with this tutorial, I will show you how to get that one click and expand a field to expose another component's inspector within the inspector you're in. Before we start though, if you fancy owning this robot or the space station behind it, I'll leave a link to the Unity Asset Store in the description. So let's take a look at the code we already have. There's a robot and a weapon class, and they both have custom editors. And that's important to note for later. When we open the robot, we see several serialized fields and nothing else. That's because in this tutorial, I'm being really lazy. We only need the serialized fields. Now we're going to use a property attribute for our new attribute indicating that the weapon field is expandable. So let's create a new class and call it expandable attribute. Now we can get rid of all the mono behavior stuff and we'll derive this class from property attribute. We'll then use some inception to give this attribute another attribute called attribute usage. This is so we can specify that this attribute is only for our fields because property attributes can actually be on classes as well. Now, back in our robot class, we can now add that attribute. And if we jump back into Unity, we can see that nothing has changed. And that's because we need to specify how to draw that property attribute. And to do that, we need to derive a class from property drawer. We'll create a class in our Unity editor folder called expandable attribute property drawer. Okay, so we have our class and that's deriving from property drawer. And we have an attribute here called custom property drawer. And we're just saying that this is for the expandable attribute. So every time it finds an expandable attribute, it will use this drawer. Okay, so we'll override the on GUI in here because that's what we want to do. We want to do the drawing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our current property field. And that's the weapon field, because we don't want to get rid of that. We still want to draw that as normal. And it's going to be at the position. It's going to be with the property. And we're also going to say, yep, let's use the label passed into on GUI. And we're interested in drawing the children. So that will basically act as the inspector would do already that we've seen. Next thing we want to do is we want to put in this expansion, but we want to check whether we actually have something assigned to the property, because if we don't, we're not interested in expanding it. We want the user to basically put something in there. So all we'll do is say, if there's nothing in the object reference value, basically return. We're not interested in carry on. Next thing we want to do is we want to see if the property has been expanded. There we go but we'll want to basically draw that little arrow to set that it's expanded. So editor GUI has something called a fold out and that's the little arrow that expands out for you. Now we're going to draw this at the same position that we drew our property field and that's why the arrow sits just to the side of it. And we're going to pass it whether the property is currently expanded. And we'll say we don't have any content for it because we're not interested in drawing anything else. So what's this doing? It's basically saying, draw the little arrow, pass in whether that property is expanded. And if I press on that little arrow, set it to expand, therefore expanding the thing we set in. Nice little loop there. Now we want to get to drawing the editor, the weapon editor. And to do this, we're going to use editor.createCachedEditor. Now we'll pass this, the object that we're actually getting. So object reference value. We're not interested in passing in the type, but the next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're going to need to give it an editor that it's gonna fill, because basically it's caching an editor for us. So we'll need to come in here and put a local variable called mEditor. And that's just something we're gonna send in to our caching. But we only want to cache it if we don't currently have an editor cached. Because if we have one cached, why bother doing it again? And then the last thing to do is to say, yep, draw the inspector GUI for the editor. Now, if we jump back into Unity, we can see we have our little arrow 
and we can expand it by pressing down. And there you go, there's the weapon details that we have there. But it doesn't look very pretty. So we're gonna do that in the next step. We're gonna make this look like it should. Now, before I make this super pretty, remember, with your help, more suffering developers can be saved by making them aware of this channel. So make sure to like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm and message one developer, just one, to let them know about this video. The trickle down effect will expand this channel's reach and finally reach its end goal of five more subscribers. Anyway, let's make this all pretty. Okay, so back in the editor, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna indent, so it looks like a sub part of the editor. And we'll just wanna make sure we return that to normal afterwards. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna say, let's make it look like a box. So we'll begin a vertical layout here and we'll give it a skin. And we're gonna rob the skin from Unity of box. There we go. And we'll want to close that off afterwards with end vertical. There we are. Now this will give it a box, but it won't give it an outline. And I like to use outlines for these expansions just to make it look like it really stands out. Now to do that, we'll want to use another method. And there's no nice way of drawing an outline currently in Unity with the editor GUI. So this is a method. I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I'm not gonna write all this out. But basically it's drawing four rectangles, each one for a line representing an outline box. It's a little cheap function I've got. You can copy it down from here. What we'll need to do is we'll need to draw that, but we'll need to get the rectangular area we wanna draw it for. So here we go. We'll just grab the rectangle from our begin vertical and end vertical. That will basically, it's a cheat function just to tell us where that actual rectangle sits. And the next thing we'll do is we'll draw that outline box. Draw outline box, there we go. Pass it the rectangle, and then we want to pass it a color. In this case, I'm gonna say blue, and then we'll set the line thickness to one. So if I save this and go back into Unity, now our expansion looks like an expansion. It's got a nice blue outline, we know what the script is, and I can get access to my variables nice and easily. And there you have it, a good looking expandable field in the inspector, saving you days worth of two click selecting, and in turn reducing the wear and tear on peripherals around the country, or maybe even the world. So in a sense, you have an obligation now to Click on the video showing on screen to make up the difference.